Hello. In this lesson we're going to talk about vectors and their uh, rectangular components. We already know how to apply the uh, triangle method to add two vectors. But if these two vectors are perpendicular on each other, it's even easier to add them together in order to find the resultant. Now these rectangular vectors are nothing else than the rectangular components of that resultant vector. As you can see on this diagram, the resultant R has two components. I'm going to call the horizontal component RH and the vertical component RV. I'm even going to say that this resultant vector forms an angle theta with the horizontal component. And if so, then I can use trigonometric identities to define the magnitude of these components. So the magnitude of the horizontal component RH is going to be the magnitude of R times cosine of the angle theta, while the magnitude of the vertical component is going to be the magnitude of R times sine of theta. We can also use Pythagorean theorem and vector addition, just everything that we already studied in the past. So keep in mind that you can uh, resolve any vector into its rectangular components, just like I did here. Now, you will encounter a lot of problems in which you have two vectors that are acting on an object. You already know you can use vector addition, Pythagorean theorem, trigonometry in order to find the resultant. You're also going to be facing problems in which you will encounter another vector called the equilibrant vector, which is nothing else than the vector that is the opposite vector of your resultant. So that's basically what you should, should be aware of. A couple of new concepts and uh, terminology that you will encounter. There are navigational problems in which you have to consider beside the heading of a airplane or a ship, the wind or the current. You have to be aware of uh, how to calculate those things and how to consider the wind or the current uh, forces. So basically, you're going to have a heading and then the wind or the current, which you have to pay attention how is described in words in your problem, in order to calculate your bearing. Or you may have any of these components and need to calculate uh, the third. It's basically nothing uh, too special here. It's just plain English, but somehow many people seem to get very much confused when they try to translate the text of the problem into a diagram in order to calculate the resultant vector. So try not to get uh, confused as well. I'm going to give you some examples and hopefully that's going to help you a lot more than this uh, general presentation. But for now, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thanks for watching.